Hey, gearheads! Today, we're going to tackle a problem that can cause headaches for car owners, the infamous P0171 error code. If you're comfortable with DIY fixes, this guide is for you. And remember, if you're not sure about something, consult a professional. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more awesome content. Ready? Let's dive in. First off, we have vacuum leaks. These can be a real pain to find. You'll need to check all lines and connections while your engine is running. Listen carefully for any hissing sounds. Start the engine. Visually inspect all vacuum lines. If a visual check doesn't reveal anything, you've got two more options. Spray the vacuum lines with water. If you hear hissing and water gets sucked in, you have a leak. Connect a vacuum gauge to the suction line between the throttle valve and the engine. Check for existing hose connections to plug it in. Next, the oxygen sensor. This is usually a straightforward task. Set your multimeter to resistance mode. Measure between the ground and power connector pins. It should read between 10 and 20 ohms. Switch the multimeter to DC voltage mode. Connect to the heater wires. The voltage reading should be between 12V and 24V. If you find that the sensor is faulty, replace it by identifying the faulty sensor using an OBD2 scanner, jacking up the car, disconnecting and removing the old sensor, installing the new sensor. Last but not least, let's talk about the fuel system. Turn off the engine and disconnect the fuel injector. Set the multimeter to measure resistance. Probe the terminals. Check against the user manual for recommended values. Disconnect the fuel pump relay. Set the multimeter to DC voltage mode. Connect the probes to the relay pins. A good pump will show a 12V reading. That covers how to fix a P0171 code. Remember, if you're ever in doubt, consult a professional. That's it for today's episode of Axelwise. Don't forget to subscribe and keep revving those engines.